In example 18.9, we're going to look at graphing f, which is given by the equation um, f of x equals e to the x over a domain of all real numbers, and we're going to also graph g on the same coordinate grid given by g of x equals negative e to the x, again over all real numbers. Let's start with f. Uh, because f is going to be uh, a parent function for us. This is going to be the natural exponential function because we have a base here of e. So we're going to create a table just like we have for the other parent functions. This will be x, f of x. And I want to substitute in uh, several different values here for, uh, for x, just like we did with the exponential growth and the exponential decay. A couple of these are relatively easy, such as e to the first power. This is approximately uh, 2.7. e to the zero is going to be exactly equal to one. But some of these others are going to be a little more challenging. So we would need our calculator for that, e to the second and also e to the third. e to the second, using my calculator, is going to give me approximately 7.4 and e to the third is going to give me approximately 20.1. Now I won't be able to fit that last point on this particular window but I could go ahead and plot 0, 1, 1, 2.7 and then 3 or excuse me, 2, 7.4. Those can all go on here pretty easily. And then let's look at the negative exponent, uh, e to the negative 1. Type that into the calculator. e to the negative 1 is approximately 0 0.4. e to the negative 2 will be approximately 0 0.1. 1 and then e to the negative 3 is going to be approximately 0 0.05 so very small there and uh, I don't know that I'll be able to be all that exact with those really small values but nevertheless we can get the general shape negative 1 0 0.4 and then negative 2.1 uh, so this is definitely an example of a growth model there's going to be a horizontal asymptote right here on top of the x-axis and uh, we'll be increasing going from left to right and this gives me the graph of F. Now the graph of G is going to look almost identical to the graph of F except we have a negative 1 multiplier that negative 1 multiplier means that we're going to perform the transformation reflection over the x-axis. So we already have points available to use. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll reflect as many of these points as we can over the x-axis. And then we will connect the dots. And that will give us the graph of G.